Fred Yankel, and we're here today at the uh, 2015 Monterey Sports Car Reunion uh, with the Bill Thomas Chia that was raced out of Allen Green Chevrolet. And with us is, is Larry Webb, and he was the mechanic on the car the whole time that Allen Green had it, and he worked with all the different drivers. And he's going to give us some of his thoughts and remembrances of the car. Well, Fred, is, first of all, it's really good to see the car here. Um, I remember the day that um, it actually got delivered to Seattle and um, of course when we got it the first time it had the 58 millimeter Webers on it. Uh, I see now it has the dual air meter that we ran uh, back in the day and uh, that was uh, quite a thing because we actually were able to get more horsepower with the dual air meter than we were with the four Webers. And uh, the throttle response and, and uh, overall drivability of the car was much, much better with the um, fuel injection as opposed to the Weber. So it's really good to see that unit is still on it. And I see that it looks just like it did when, uh, when we had it. I had the green paint on it. It looks great. And, uh, and there's no doubt in your mind that this is the car. It is the car. Because there I, are some people that said it isn't. But I, I, I've I talked that. to you and I've talked to all the people that bought it from and so and, we're sure it is. And I followed the car from the time that, uh, you know, that it was sold uh, through all of the owners. And uh, if you'll remember, you came to Kent. And, right. And we had... Uh, and we, we busted the transmission. Yeah, and you told me how, how I didn't have to pull the motor to get the tranny out. Right. And I'm so, grateful to this day. Yeah. Thank you so much. But, um, yeah, so I know that this is the car. And, and it's unfortunate. Yes, sir. Uh, it is the real car, and uh, as you know, uh, we had several drivers during that period of time. Jerry Grant rode the car, uh, Gary Gold, and uh, uh, also, and then uh, Alan Grant drove it for me. And uh, we traveled all over the country with this car. We went to oh, Canada, uh, of course we went to Westwood, we went to uh, Toronto. Now when uh, you went to Canada, it didn't say Alan Green on it. It uh, said Citation Motors. It did. Uh, we ran up uh, Citation Motors was a uh, specialty car dealer in Toronto and uh, very uh, kindly uh, offered to sponsor us if we bring the car back there. And uh, so that was a plus. Alan talked to the owner there and, and uh, they made a deal and so they paid all our expenses, put us up in uh, uh, Mostport and uh, you know, we're real pleased we're running back there and, and running the car at that time. So. Now the first fellow that drove it uh, his name was Don Jensen. Don Jensen. Right. And yeah, Don uh, filled in for us uh, down at Riverside. Um, I, the funny part about it was, uh, of course, we didn't know. Uh, it was a, one of these hot days, and, and uh, Don came in, and he was absolutely wiped out because of the heat in the car. So if you'll look on the roof, as you know, uh, there are a couple of vents there. Well, yep. those vents were added. We added those vents to the car uh, simply to... Um, uh, let the hot air out and uh, try to get some fresh air in it. So uh, that's even then it's hotter than hell. <laughs> uh, even that, yeah, right for sure. We know that. So and you drove it yourself too. I drove times. it myself. Um, I drove it in uh, 1965. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. Um, it stayed in my garage, so I figured I might as well drive it. So, <laughs> so I'm really familiar with the car. And, and one thing we want to point out: the car never really had a VIN. There were no stampings on the frame of this car or anything else that would identify it uh, as number one, number two, number three, whatever. Um, Bill wasn't into that type of thing, and uh, and certainly we didn't put any VIN numbers on it, and, and it was just the cheetah. Well, now, so, the, the first one that Alan Green had, uh, they took back to Daytona, and it got destroyed. It got destroyed. It Unfortunately, Jerry had uh, issues with it uh, on the high bank, and uh, so he drove it down into the lake, and that was the end of it. So. And then you and this got, was, this then was you the went and picked this one yeah. up. And it was it red originally. It, was it had red. big block letters on it. Big block letters yeah. on it. And, and, uh, yeah. and, and then, then, then there was the time when Alan said, you know, I think we need to paint all our race cars green. And so that's when this car got the green color on it. And it Here just looked like it just today. Good. We painted our Camaro. We painted the the uh, Chevy 2 that we were drag racing at the time and, and uh, painted the Cheetah. And, uh, now you took this to the drag one time, right? I, I did. And uh, uh, at that time they had a drag strip down in Puyallup, fortunately. Okay. And so I, uh, one night uh, we loaded on the trailer and I went down there and, and uh, it uh, ran very fast. It ran almost 137 miles an hour, 136.50. Wow. Uh, 10.56. Uh, 
it was a really good all, ride. All in road race trim. All in road race trim, just exactly. In fact, we took it off. I think we had raced it a week or two before, and we took it down there just exactly like it was. And so, uh, yeah, that was a fun trip for me down that quarter mile. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, really. I good would to imagine see it. hooked up real good in the quarter mile with you all know, the weight. It, back it there. did. It it really uh, it came out. I think I made a couple of passes, and then I thought, well, I'm going to give it all and. And I did, and, and it just ran great. So. That's super. Well, I, I know the time that I've had it, I've been terrified and enjoyed it well, all at the same time. Is that about the that's about way it. you'd call um, it, Cheetah? Yeah. Um, as you know, you've driven it, and uh, we know that uh, it has some characteristics that uh, most race car drivers don't really like, but all in all, it's a great car. It's a wonderful car. And certainly was a very special car for that period of time in history. So, if Bill would have been able to complete his original idea, the Cobra would be nothing. So, we know that it was much faster than the Cobra. It's lighter and it's got more power. And so it's got more power. You better. And actually, although the brakes aren't disc, between you and I, they're better than people think they are. And I always let everybody think they were junk. Yeah. Uh, Duntoff, uh, the famous Zora Duntoff of uh, Chevrolet, did a study and they actually found out that uh, drum brakes uh, up to a certain point were actually better than a disc brake. The only thing that, of course, um, as we know about the drums, is that uh, they don't dissipate the heat fast enough and they will start to fade. But up to the point of fade, they actually have more stopping ability than a, than a disc brake does. And I know that uh, at least all the cheetahs that I ever saw, and I think I saw most of them, because I was certainly alive during that period of time, not one cheetah that I ever see that had disc brakes. Well, I was, I was involved with the Dixon Cadillac car because, I mean, that that car was run by the owner of the dealership and his used car manager, who had no experience at all. And I had been running a solid accident for a and our family dealt with that with Dixon Cadillac. And I helped them, and I know the whole time they had it, they had drum brakes. And I drove them one time at Willow Springs, had drum brakes, and a fellow by the name of David Kinshu who lives in which is where the car, the Dixon car went to, uh, he said that he put disc brakes on the front in 1968. Could and be, I have no reason to not believe yeah. him. But uh, 